I'm Glenn Beck. After World War II ended, television began to provide the pictures and radio had to change. Music was the difference. By the mid-50s, white entertainers imitating black R&B singers from the 1940s were being heard on major cities like New York and Cleveland. Elvis Presley and other reckless rebels were selling records and getting airplay, and powerful radio stations emerged like WABC in New York and 89 WLS in Chicago. Rock radio ruled. It was local radio stars that stepped into the spotlight and changed the medium. They were the disc jockeys who were defining and corrupting the emerging youth culture known as baby boomers. Our next inductee, Larry Lujak, was a listener to the early pioneers and then became a pioneer of a different sort and the inspiration for many of today's most famous on-air personalities. Here to introduce him is a Chicago favorite for more than 20 years, his adorable sidekick on Real Oldie 1690 WRLLAM here in Chicago, Tommy Edwards. Radio Hall of Fame members and inductees, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am privileged to have this opportunity to tell you about one of the newest inductees, Larry Lujak, and folks, this is not a pretty picture. <laughs> he started in radio 46 years ago. He entered the Air Force and was stationed at, as a security guard at Chinoot Air Force Base in Rantoul, Illinois. There he proudly served our country, keeping the base safe overnight from communists and hookers. After his honorable discharge, he worked for a number of stations with tenure of about four months each. But then he landed jobs in the big time in Seattle, Boston, and eventually here in Chicago. Here he floated back and forth between WLS and WCFL for several years. He wrote a book and won a number of industry awards, but he can't remember any of them. And he asked me to forget about the book. But in all seriousness, he did this especially achieving the great success in ratings and becoming one of one, the one individual who influenced more radio and TV people than anybody else just by being himself, sarcastic, irreverent, and mostly lovable. I've known him for 32 years. We originated animal stories and became America's cutest couple. Today, Larry and I do the morning show on Real Oldie 1690 on AM for Clear Channel. I have worked with uh, radio giants in New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles, so I believe I'm qualified to say that Larry Lujak is a genius. And he is always the opportunist. In hearing of one of the other inductees tonight, and in the interest of advancing himself in the Clear Channel corporate structure, he has asked me to introduce him using his new legal name, Lowry Lujak. City to city and town to town, I kept on streaking and word got around. I don't know if this was time well spent, but it sure beats being president. Time for the Larry Lujak clunk letter of the day. Da -da 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 -da. This is an anonymous letter, which goes as follows. Dear Super Jack, comma, this is the second time I have written to you requesting to hear Buddy Holly Records on Super CFL. Remember, as you know, when Buddy Holly died, so did rock and roll. So get your little fanny perpendicular layer and get those Buddy Holly records on the airwaves. Well, there's no need to get crude. Day and night, Chicago's most beautiful music is right here, WCFL. Now, I'll tell you what me, nothing comes easy. I've been waiting for Larry Lujak for hours. I figure I got this morning show on WLS. Well, then I get some respect. Pardon me. We are the Animal Stories news team oh. anchormen. Here's me, your charming and delightful old Uncle Larry, and there's him in person, little snug-nosed Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hi. Hi, Uncle Larry. Hi, everybody. I would like to not only thank you for listening, but for caring. That's the most important part. And... I'm not going to say uh, goodbye. Real oldie 1690, 717. One celebrity we need to worship again this morning is Paris Hilton. <laughs> and again, I have Gloria remind Paris to bring her video camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Radio Hall of Fame is proud to induct Larry Lujak. All right, all right, stop clapping. We got a limited time thing here. I would like to take just a moment, first of all, to uh, thank you for your overwhelming love, and I will shove it right up my heart. Thank you. Uh, take a moment to finally, for the first time ever, explain fully the low point of my career, which Tommy made mention of. It was about 30 years ago, a book modestly titled Super Jock, <laughs> subtitled The Loud, Frantic, Non-Stop World of a Rock Radio DJ. It was embarrassing trash, <laughs> but it wasn't my fault, and you'll be stunned to learn whose fault it was. <laughs> there was at that time a young, know-nothing editor at Regnery Publishing here in Chicago who was assigned to edit this book. His mistake was that he took out all the good, interesting stuff and just left all the filth and the smut in. So it was his fault. And that young man went on to become the president and chief executive officer of the Radio Hall of Fame. His name was and still is Bruce Dumont. So. If you made the mistake, if you were dumb enough to buy that book, see Bruce uh, later for a full refund of your purchase price, and I hope you saved your receipt. Coincidentally, one of the quotes they used on the cover jacket was from my friend Dick Purton. Uh, the quote they used on the jacket was, this is the funniest book I've read since God is my co-pilot, which of course wasn't funny at all. Uh, that was very cruel, Dick, and uh, I will hate you for the rest of my life. And I think in regard to Dick Purton, there should be a recount on the votes. I don't think the guy's good enough to be in, quite frankly. Uh, even though Dick and I realize that uh, you really screwed up uh, this year by voting us in, fortunately we have uh, both of us big enough egos to con ourselves into thinking that we really are that good and actually deserve this. Uh, as you know, this is a very tough business. It's hard to survive. Uh, and that's why, although both Tommy and I love working for Clear Channel, <laughs> and, and we believe uh, everything they believe as far as, you know, good broadcasting. Um, uh, that's why, although uh, both Tommy and I love working for them, it's always a good idea to be looking for the next gig. And that's why as you leave tonight, we'll be handing out copies of our air checks uh, over there at the door. Call us. Every reasonable offer will be considered. Now to our radio audience who cannot see what's going on, they're starting to throw silverware and chicken bones at me now, so I'll just say, hey, uh, thanks for screwing up the vote this year and voting me in. I am truly honored. Thank you very much.